to the Sixers with a score of 171. Didn't bat, chase down in 17 overs. This might be the first time I've actually played a game here at uh, Docklands in this cricket game at the Marvel Stadium, it's called at the moment. If Smith and Finch are both playing in this game, I, I would imagine that means that there's no international games going on. A strike rate of 194 in T20 cricket. That is absurd, and it's 2 for 47. The scoreline here is 162, which I said, generally, 150, 160. A pretty good score here at Docklands. Oh, that is lovely. Straight down the ground, probably to the Coventry end. Or the locket end, I never know which one is which. In the air, and a boundary. Beautifully struck. 71 from 48, Maxwell's in, I'm in. Let's, let's use the power surge. Why not? I think it's probably a good time. But with the surge, it's an opportunity to get about 20 and over. Really bring the rate back down. Pressure back on the gates. Ah, oh, Maxi. He's gonna get booted out of this power surge by getting dismissed. Okay, that was better. <laughs> I'm glad I hit that ball. But still, next two balls probably need to be boundaries. That's gonna be one of them. That's four more. And this is gonna be fine. I think we'll get two because the keeper's a bit slow. This one's straight for the fielder though. Bugger! Still need 42 runs from the last five overs, the Stars, but has my 40 from 25 been important enough to get us over the line? Rainbow was the hero in the previous game. It looks like they've done the job here. Joe Burns and Thatcher getting it done. Steve Smith, 75 not out, gives him player of the game honours as the Stars win the Melbourne Derby against the Renegades at Docklands. So again, I'm just not... I'm not over the top good. We've got the return clash uh, in, in the new year as we head into 2026. Let's have a look here. You can see we are the Melbourne Stars captain. We are a part of Victoria. And we've got Gloucester as the only other team that we are like expecting selection for. Um, you can see the standings here. Um, am I anywhere near the player of the series? I don't think so. I'm not even... Uh, Steve Smith is a top run scorer in T20 cricket in Australia. I've got the best bowling figures at 4 for 16. Uh, and I've got the equal most amount of wickets with 8. Uh, but I think my batting needs to improve a little bit. Um, because at the moment, where's, what's my run scoring? Probably don't even, I have 150 runs across 7 matches so far. But I've only batted 4 times. So there's room for improvement. We're already... Halfway through the big bashes, the stars are seven and zero. Oh my god. We are an unstoppable force. Alright, let's let's move up the order here. Let's open the batting. And I think today we're gonna play and just and just hit everything. It's this is gonna be the quest for our biggest T20 score yet. I think we've currently got a hundred, but if we can get to that 150 mark, oh my god, it would be unbelievable. Anyway, here we go. Coming in. A high score 115. I'd like to top that today. Although chasing 165 going to be hard with Seb Gotch in quality form at the other end. Four. What a start. And again, same spot, same results. Over the top this time. Edged and that'll be the end of me after one over for just 12 runs. The team has gone on to win yet another game of cricket. We move to 8 and 0 in the Big Bash. It's extraordinary. And our friend here, as I'm very happy with how we're going. I'd be surprised if you weren't. We literally have not lost a game all season, but I cannot wait for a journalist to tell us that we have. We are actually winning all the time. Oh my god, they all asked reasonable questions. This is not a question. He said, thanks for your time. Best of luck. Well done, Chief. Oh, yes, we've won the toss. We're going to bat first. And today, if I bat first, I should be able to make a huge score. All right, let's kick it off. Stars, eight and zip. And I'm in... I'm not going to say great form because I've, I've hit, I hit a few boundaries and get out. But I'm doing okay. 
anything. No. That is very well hit. Yes. And again. And again. I'm telling you, this is this is record records are gonna be broken here. Records will be broken. That's almost all the way, but I don't think so. One bounce in towards about Bay 54 over there at the MCG. Oh, I've accidentally turned off the UI. It's the one this time. He's got the strike. I might actually have to watch him because I want to get myself back on strike quicker. Especially during this opening power play, I probably want to maximise the runs I can get in these first four overs. Oh, run out chance. Yeah. Out. Well, look, Seb, you should have hit the ball into the gap. That's all I'll say. That goes for everyone else who comes in. You better be prepared to hit the ball into the gap. That's a wide. That's five wides. That's a lot of runs. Jeez, I can't wait to choke this big bash when we inevitably go through the season undefeated. Four. And a no ball. So this is going to be worth five. And off the last one legal delivery, we've seen already there's been about ten runs. Could get worse. It does get worse. Four more. Edged off a no ball. So it's not out. This is a horrific over from Steckity. And another no ball. What's going on? And another life. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is this is an insane over. I don't know how many runs I've hit this over, but I don't think it's a record-breaking one just yet. Another no ball. Are you kidding me? Are you absolutely kidding me? How many runs have there been this over? There's been so many. <laughs> oh, my God. Steckity, what are you doing to yourself? Another free hit. And that's four more. And I think this might be the most expensive over I've ever hit. How many runs came from it? It had to be at least 25 or 30. The Manhattan says 24 plus, but I don't know how many it actually was. Actually, the first two will tell us. So it was 17 runs off the first over, five from the second, so that's 22. Which means there was 34 runs off that third over. 34 runs from that third over. My goodness. Yes. And it was about a 10 ball over as well. And Stoinis nicks one through to oh, third God. for a single. Oh. oh, it's hit me, but it's a no ball. What is it with these bowlers and bowling noes? Not helping at all. The Heat already conceded around about 20 runs and over here. Catch it. Oh, get over him. It does. <laughs> I thought that was going to be it. I thought that was going to be it. Haven't managed to hit a 6 yet, and I don't believe this would be anywhere near the fastest 50 in Big Bash history, even if I got it on that ball. I believe the fastest Big Bash 50 is like 14 balls or 15 balls from Chris Gales got it or something. And I think someone else has it equal with him. That's going to be the single to get me the 50. Yep. That's an edge. That should be four. If not, we want two. Stoyness. Stoyness, I wanted two then. The end of the power, play. The power play, we get 68 runs from it. You can have a look at some of these. Look at the wagon wheel. One, two singles. The rest boundaries. Forward. Of the bowler. That's uh, not a great hit. Probably worth two runs. Because that is where the gap is. It at long off. Because the... Fielded down the ground is just slightly wider uh, than finer, so you can go straight back over the bowler towards the MCC members over there to hit the boundary. Yes. Like that shot there, that's pretty good. Again, it's probably only going to be worth two. And again, that's all it is worth. Some sixes would be really beneficial, I think, here to my innings. Boundary would be good as well. Anyway, a single to finish the over. One for 74 after five overs. Yes. Ball, reverse sweep. 
is not going to be a boundary. I think this will be just the two. So the high score we're looking for here is at around about 13 runs and over. I'm just looking at it now. Maxwell made 154 from 64, as the Stars made 273 for two. Marcus Stoinis at the other end just had a casual 75 from 31, as the 50 partnership is brought up here. So I'm going to have to play the role of Maxwell. Stoinis can play the role of Stoinis, and uh, the team is going to need to bat very, very well. That should be a boundary. So the run rate in that game was... 13.65. We're currently going at 13.89. So we are just ahead of where we need to be. Yep. It's an edge. It should be four. That's a good way to finish the over. It's one for 85 Ooh. after six. All right, Michael Nisa into bowl. This could. This is going to be. Yeah. This is the. This has got to be the over. Yes. Oh, mistimed. Again, my timing is just off today. It's just not quite there. Yeah, yeah. Ugh, again, not quite there. It's just the one. Yep. Goes along the ground, picks up another one. Sure, we cannot allow too many dots. Yeah. Oh, that's four. So we'll take that. Geez, disappointing we didn't bring up the 100 there in the eighth over. One for 98. Yeah. Get it probably this over you'd expect against Niza, but the time for acceleration is shortly. I feel like we're we're on the verge to explode. It's been a, a quiet over or two. Gotcha. That is a boundary. That is the first of probably a few. Oh, I better get there. Jeez, oh, I was. I read. That's a better shot. That's four as well. No need to run. No need to run. You never know sometimes. There might have been a need to run, but I chose not to. Okay, that gap's now covered, but you can go straight. You can go straight. Yeah. Miss hit. Probably two. Yeah, yeah. That's an edge. Should give us a single to finish the over. 110 runs on the board. Is that over the top? It is. That's four. It's still going to be very hard to get a 270 because I can't hit a six. No matter how hard I'm trying at the moment, I cannot find a way to hit a six. Yeah, yeah. Even that had a lot of air time, but not a lot of distance on it. It'll still find the boundary. But it's not a six. That's to the leg side. It's going to be just worth the one. One for 119. Nine from the over. Into the zone. It'll be four. We, we probably need to hit 25 runs and over here in the surge. It's the only way we're going to get close. Yeah, yeah. Beat that fielder. Damn it. Yep. No dots allowed. I'll be running everything. Again, miss hit, but again it'll be four. Still hasn't been a great over, has it? Wildermathon, Stoinis 21 from 16 needs to do better. I'm 96 from 48. My uh, stamina is running really low. Well, there's the 100. It's been a big one. It's come in 49 balls. It's so cooked. 24s, but no sixes. Maxwell's 154. He had 22 fours. So we're only two boundaries off him, but he also had four sixes, which we don't currently have any. Oh, That's a miss. Falling. But we're, st we're... I don't know. 172. It's still... It, so, hang on. 273. Oh, we're still... Nice. We're probably a little bit too far off it, to be honest. As much as I would love to. We're just a fraction off it. I need another over where there's a million no balls. Oh, it doesn't beat the gap. It's the one. Stoinis will get the last ball power play. The Stoinis surge. He'll get the final delivery of it. I probably faced too many balls in a row. You can see my stamina is really low. Hey, there's a boundary to finish. One for 143 off 12. The run rate is around 12. 
There's the 100. Very offside dominant. Now Mitchell Swepson. Swepson's all over me, to be honest. I literally don't know what to do. Yeah. I could try going down. Yep. No. Tried to come down and meet the pitch of the ball. Didn't help. Yes. A slog sweep will give us a leg by. Yeah. Oh, that's a good hit. That should be four. Yes, Stoinis. And this is good. This is really good. Because now that we've got the confidence of having a big score, yep. you can afford to have someone like Stoinis hit a few boundaries. But we're both tracking behind where the respective roles of Maxwell and Stoinis were in that big knock. Stoinis hits 75 from just 31 balls. Which, I mean, still possible if he hits a few sixes. Uh, but Maxwell had 64 balls to get his 154, which I'm tracking well behind. Yeah. And that's an outside edge. That'll be a single. Yep. Stoinis is in some fine form at this point in the game. Both of us really trying hard here to... Yes. And there is a boundary to finish... The over 170, 168 after 15 overs. We would need 105 to be able to get to this huge score of 270, which I don't think we're going to do. But we should still get a 200 plus score. Yep, a jam. That's a top edge, that's four. Yep, a jam. Oh, this is a good start. That field has actually come finer after the top edge off the first ball. I'm not going to lie, the Heat have done a great job to peg us back from where we were. Because we hit the 100 mark yep. in the 8th over. Keeper, keeper. And you thought, well, this is going to be very, very ugly. And even a score of, what, 210 would be pretty good result for the Brisbane Heat. But again, 3 from this Schweppes and over. Yeah. It's been quite good. But that should be a fair... A <laughs> 4. It is. 50 for Stoinis. Four sixes. No, six fours and a six. There's his run. Slot behind square. Ah, oh, this is it. The end for me. 1-1-1 one, one, one from 66. I just had nothing left in the tank. And eventually the end had to come. Here was the catch. Yeah, 111. It's 2, 4, 183. We ended up with just 208. So, it's a great job in the end by the, the Heat to peg it back to just 208. Uh, but hopefully we can get a couple of easy wickets here because they, they'll be looking to hit boundaries every ball. Oh, he's chopped it on. That's huge. Good night. Oh. It's turning too much. I wonder how many wickets I would need to be the leading wicket taker in the tournament. Because I know I've only got eight. Uh, or nine now with this one. Which was previously enough to be in the top leading wicket takers. But I imagine that's a really low amount for nine rounds. That's out. What a take that is. To be honest, probably you have secured the player of the game already. For the 100 and... 11 runs, and then the two wickets on top of that. Still a super score from the yep. Stars sees the Heat needing 16 runs and over off the last seven to get themselves a victory here, which I think is highly unlikely. In the air, and taken yeah. to the full toss, swept and hits to the fielder. I end up with three wickets. The game ends with the Heat 7, or 8 down, sorry, for 155. Maxwell with a nice catch there. And the Stars with a 53-run win. Player of the game for 111 not out, and a 3 for 19. The Stars are unstoppable. I would love to know what is happening with this Australian team. Also, I need some kind of massage of my... Uh, fatigue level, I'm assuming, is going to be pretty high. Uh, but let's have a look here. Victoria captain, Melbourne Stars captain. Uh, as we can see here, the score lines throughout. 
uh, into the player of the series conversation there at a 1,051 rating points and uh, up into the top wicket takers with 11. Sutherland there with 12 has the most. The Stars move to 9-0, which means um, they probably really can't be beaten. They have eight bonus points of the nine, uh, which also forgot that was a thing. But they are well and truly ahead of everyone else in the competition by a long way. And they just smashed... The Heat, who we just smashed, were actually in second place. And we literally just beat them. Uh... And we just beat them with a score of 208. It should have been far more than that, to be honest. Um, but in the end, that's pretty good from us. And uh, I guess that will do us for today's video. So thank you all for watching. Uh, we'll see if we can do any more record-breaking attempts in the next video. My career player is now 98 overall, which is insane, as you can tell, um, from my skills here. I need more attack. I need more attacking power. How do I improve? Look at this. How do I improve this? That's what I need. A lot of these are at max. Maximum right. So the only things I need to improve, running speed and footwork. A higher footwork skill. That's it. Everything else I think is, is pretty much maxed out. Literally my player cannot get any better than he currently is. Uh, is there any perks I should pick? Uh, but maybe I should I should change up my perks. But I think they all really improve my batting at any given stage. As for my proficiencies, well, some of this stuff uh, can still be improved. Yorker link bowling, as you can tell, but obviously I'm a spinner, so... Uh, definitely there's still some proficiencies to be improved here. Uh, but as for the rest of my performing, I'm a pretty damn good player. So thank you guys for watching. I'll leave it there, and I'll see you in the next video.